What? That's fine. Certainly possible. What? other words
see. Anyway... Just a second. Hey. Whew. It's true. So... Hey. Correct. I see. Hey. It's true. It would seem... Indeed. Correct. It's true. However, um, what the heck? I will not forgive you.
Okay. Doesn't matter. So then, so then. In other words... <laughs> Listen. In other words... So then... So then... I knew it. In other words... Whoops, he had caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, then let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. Just the worst. 
D don't look at me! Don't be mean! <gasps> what the heck? What the heck? Hmm. Don't look at me! What the heck? Hmm. What the heck? Hey. <laughs> now then. with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, 
Then I'll punish everyone besides the Blackened. And the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now then, where to begin? We already know who did it. Whoa, deja vu. The one who killed Sakura is one of the people that hated her. Byakuya, Toko, or Hiro. It was one of you. <laughs> Idiot. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, I'd never kill someone, no way. I don't want to hear your stupid excuses. Was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get. It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her! Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get! It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's... <laughs> the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get. It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all, you hated her! Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get! It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have? Because you all, you hated her. Shoot. It was one of, one of you killed. And what reason do you have? Because you all had, you hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have her. That's low. That's about as low as you can get. Was one of one of you killed? And what reason do you? Because you all you hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get. It was one of you. you one of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all ha you hated her. Is that it? That doesn't. That's the only reason you have for accusing us. That's low. That's about as low as you can get. It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Shoot! It was one of one of you killed. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low. Oh, as you can 
And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her! Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can... It was one of, one of you, Kip. And what reason do you... Because you all had... You hated her! Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing her? That's low. That's about as low as you can get. It was one of you. One of you killed. And what reason did you? Because you all, you hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? No, it's wrong. Another reason you suspect them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? Yeah, and that was right before she died. So there's no doubt about it. One of those three killed her. wanted to meet with all three of them? There's no way that's not suspicious! One of you is absolutely guilty! I don't deny that she wanted to meet with us, but I never went to see her. I didn't either. Yeah, same here! I never saw her! No, it's wrong! Hero. When we were talking before, you dropped a small piece of paper, remember? It was white with red polka dots. What's that got to do with anything? Red polka dots? That's gotta be the wrapper from the candy I gave Sakura. No, it's... it's... um... Ever since we got into the warehouse, I totally monopolized that entire box of candy. So there's no way a single one of them was left in the warehouse. In that case, Hero, where did you get that piece of candy? From Sakura! It's the only explanation! Uh, um... Well, I mean... Yeah, sure I got it from her, but... But she gave it to me forever ago! It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to her! When? When did she give it to you? The last time you saw Sakura was... When Hina had to go to the nurse's office, right? Yeah, so I must have got it some time before then. sure about that, Hira. Hina didn't actually give Sakura the candy till after she left the nurse's office. So if that was the last time you saw her, there's no reason you should have had that candy. Damn it! Uh, I mean, what I meant was... Uh... Oh, that's right! I did meet up with her in the rec room! You got a problem with that? Why the sudden hostility? But we just talked! That's all! I didn't do anything! You gotta believe me! You're acting incredibly suspicious. You're acting incredibly suspicious! Yeah. It's not just normal hostility! You're the real culprit! I even have proof! Huh? Proof? What are you talking about? I'm talking about her shining message! At the scene of the crime, she had written out Toko in her own blood, right? It was her dying message. Just like what you guys were talking about with Sayaka. That's true. I saw it for myself. See? See? Toko did it. What are you saying? No way. I didn't do it. You just don't know when you're beat, do you? Hero, hold on. When did you see that dying message of hers? Huh? Well... When we found Ogre's body. Duh. But if you recall, Hina was very adamant about keeping you away from the scene of the crime. So it's hard to believe that's when you actually saw the message for yourself. I 
Got it! Kyoko, you found the magazine on the magazine shelf, right? That's right. Looking through the shelf, I found the magazine with the dying message on it. I found it right there at the scene of the crime, after we'd started the investigation. If that's true, then what Hiro just said doesn't really make sense, does it? D doesn't make sense? What doesn't make sense? Everything I said makes perfect sense! I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. Shoot! I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine when I pulled it out. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. I can tell you exactly when I found the when Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying It was only after the investigation. I found the magazine tucked away when I pulled it out. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. I can tell you exactly when I found the when Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final... What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. I can tell you exactly when, when Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense! I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I What's your pro what I said makes total sense. I can tell you exactly what I found when Ogre's body was discovered. No, it's wrong. When Sakura's body was found, that magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. That's where Kyoko found it, after we'd begun the investigation. And you weren't at the murder scene, so there's no way you could have seen it then. <laughs> Tell us the truth, Hiro. When did you see the message? Uh, hold on! You're focusing on the wrong part! Why does it matter when I saw it? All you gotta do is read the Vienna Sausage Ogre left us, and we know who the killer is! Toko! I don't even know where to begin with that one! He's just trying to confuse us! Actually, can we even be sure Sakura wrote that message in the first place? Um, yeah? I think we can all agree Ogre wrote that message! 100%! Without a doubt, she wrote it! 
And this is me talking, so you know it's true! Show me the proof! I'm at least 30% right! The occult is bullcrap! Give it a rest! Right. The occult is bullcrap. The end is nigh. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Give it a rest. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Right. The occult is bullcrap. Give it a rest. The end is nigh. Can't hear you, can't hear you. Show me the proof. This should prove it. I'm completely unconvinced that Sakura wrote that dying message. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger. But both of her hands were completely free of blood. So what? Then, who did write it? Hiro could very well have written it himself. That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Ah! He admits it! I figured as much. But why would you write something like that? B because I killed her! Please, just let me explain what happened. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room right before noon, just like it said. You just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. And when I got there... And that's all she said. After that, we just stood around in awkward silence. Suddenly, I heard her mutter something. As soon as I heard that, I just knew. I knew she was gonna try and kill me. She was gonna kill me and make her escape. So of course I freaked out, and then... I saw my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head! I... I hit her from behind, before she had any idea what was happening. Then she just... went limp. I didn't see her move again after that. Once it was over, I pulled myself together. I realized if I didn't do something, I'd be caught and executed. So I wrote Toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and... I ran away. I can't believe you! You're the worst! I hope you die! Well, that's what happened. Go ahead. Roast me, boil me, do whatever you want. You're not gonna get off that easy. It's death. Death for the one that killed Sakura. We're ready to vote now, right? We know who did it. No, I think there's more to Hiro's story. What are you talking about? What else could there be? There's one thing that Hero's story just now doesn't explain. And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed.
this really the end for all of us? I refuse to give up yet! I'm completely unconvinced that Sakura wrote that dying message. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger. But both of her hands were completely free of blood. So what? Then, who did write it? Hiro could very well have written it himself. That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Ah! He admits it! I figured as much. But why would you write something like that? Because I killed her! Please! Just, I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the wreck- You just did it, and when I- And that's all she said. Suddenly- As soon as I heard that, I just- She was gonna kill- so of course I freaked out, and then... I saw my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head. I... I hit her from behind, before she had any idea. Then she just... Once it was over. So I wrote Toko's name in blood of... I can't believe... Well... You're not gonna get off that it's death. You ready to... No. I think- What are you talking about? There's one thing that Hero's story just now- And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. I got it! That's true. Everything you just said. It doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden, does it? Huh? By the time the body was discovered, the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf. Why would you take the time to write that message, then stick it somewhere we might not find it? Oh, well, uh, I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. Really? He's lying! He's gotta be lying! I don't see any reason he would lie now, after already confessing to the crime. Then, he's not lying? Assuming he's telling the truth, someone else must have put the magazine back on the shelf. In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. I don't think there's any question about that. But then, who was it? If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine, they must not have liked what was written on it. It had to be Toko, right? What? Who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? Does he write Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? Why would I have... Wait! But more important! That doesn't even matter! We already know who did it, right? Hero just admitted it! That's right. I killed her. No, you didn't. Who asked you? I don't doubt Hiro attacks Sakura with the bottle, but that's not where this case ends. What do you mean? What he means is that Hiro isn't the killer. You can't be serious! That's just... I don't believe it! Hiro, tell us what happened one more time. If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, so what do you want me to do? Just tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but okay. I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. And I hit Ogre from behind, before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. 
After the first swing, the bottle shattered. And she went limp. See? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer! I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. And I hit Ogre from behind, before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. After the first swing, the bottle shattered. And she went limp. See? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer! I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. And I hit Ogre from behind, before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. After the first swing, the bottle shattered. And she went limp. See? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer! I didn't want to, but I grabbed a Monokuma bottle and I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. No, it's wrong! If Sakura died from Hiro's single blow, that doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. Two? That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. Personally, I'm inclined to believe her. But I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. Hold on! How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? She was attacked twice? With two Monokuma bottles? It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles themselves. There's something very suspicious about those bottles. Once you understand that point, you'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must have been used. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf, right? And we found pieces of a bottle on the ground, along with the chest piece it had inside. That was the bottle Hiro hit Sakura with, right? For now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. But how can you know for sure there were six bottles? That's easy. If you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should become clear. Pieces. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chess piece. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was the knife, if I remember. So, what's that matter? I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, 
the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. And on the ground was the knight. Oh! So the queen is missing! So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does chess have to do with anything? Yeah, Shogi is way better! Yeah! Wait, no, that's not what I mean. So, let's say a bottle did go missing. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. No. It's clear that the missing bottle is connected to this case. How is it clear? Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. must have been broken. What makes you so sure? 